Hey everyone, the Red Spirit here, aka Cyborg 20. I'm excited for this episode. Episode 9, Jamming with Edward. You guys know. Y'all know, right? We're gonna play him. Oh, before we play, like, comment, subscribe, comment. I said that already. Share. Um, Alright, let's play. 3, 2, 1, play. Hello. Okay, three, two, one, it's jam. Always alone. It's Ed, oh my god. So cool. Complete in-depth. So Yuri, what can you tell us about these land carvings? <laughs> <laughs> what can't I tell you about them, Tom? You're definite, <laughs> of course. <laughs> but we know the land carvings were created by lasers coming from a man-made satellite. Oh, fine. A satellite that has been orbited. Reward for the culprit. That's a very substantial bounty. Listen very carefully. Created by a hacker, aliens may have planted the idea in the hacker's mind. <laughs> Once again, the government is hiding things from us. Eat them. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna have to pass this time. You're leaving me alone with her? Yeah, what's the problem? Divide eight million by two, then by three. It's a nice even number. Here we go. I'm a tough guy like you afraid of hackers. Hackers are boring. And chasing him's more boring. And this one is probably a demented otaku with smelly feet. So catching him will be a breeze. Oh, you can't tell a woman's age by looking. <laughs> and you can't tell what a woman will do by looking. So you have to be very careful. Mm. I'm waiting. I'll expect a souvenir from planet Earth. Nothing good comes from the Earth anymore. And now, wow, they went to an Earth. On... Now this is the biggest mystery in public view. In the, in the live action. They haven't shown Ed at all. The police! Hi! Oh no! That's impossible! Area. Uh. <laughs> like from days of old, lead me to your access code. A super bad hacker. You must mean Radical Edward. He's an alien, that's what I heard. Huh? How about buying one since I gave you that info? It's those coordinates. Ed was okay. What's this? I mean, yeah. Ed's got the I don't right really remember her that much. But there hasn't been body here. Always alone. Huh? A voice inside Ed's head? Inside the system. That's cool. Um, you know. Who are you? Huh? What? What did you just say? You. Always. Who are you? Edward. Ed's a net diver from Earth. Earth. Yeah, right. Hey, what's your name anyway? I am. Nice to meet you. Here, a Made souvenir from Earth. Earthlings are weird. Yeah, that may be. But at least <laughs> I got some information out of them. Our prime target is a hacker named Radical Edward, a very heavy hitter. Great, but you don't have a profile on this. I do, sort of. Well, at least I like some. Long ago, Cats and long eyes. before the gate disaster. Earth was a beautiful planet. There were many ancient carvings like this. I used to look down at them and wonder about their meaning. I mean, there used to be more big doodles. Guess what? Nobody hacked into that satellite. The data proves there's no break-in. Eh, since when do we have an interactive channel? We don't. This is a hack job done in real time. <laughs> Who is this kid? That you know, Edward? Mm-hmm. Because Edward is Edward. Huh? Ugh, there's no time <laughs> for games. 
A favor? Uh, yeah. We can talk about that later. Now cut to the chase. What do you know? Gangs are here. The carvings all on its own. Oh, yeah? That's bizarre. It gets more bizarre. This is a weather satellite. On a the person, satellite it's on that is satellite. Since MPU's access codes can't be used anymore, you'll have to actually go to the satellite, you. Easy, huh? <laughs> oh, I almost forgot. You can't use your computers for flying or shooting. What's that? Impossible. It's like trying to play baseball without a bat. Hey, where you going? Now this is the kind of stuff I like. Let's do it. How do you know so much about us? Edward... You hit it? Did you? No, it saw me coming. Uh-oh. Then we have to take out all the satellites in the sector. You've gotta be kidding! Missiles are curving off target! Oh, the cheap ones are worthless. <laughs> huh? Jet, approach to 20 meters of MPU. The attack satellites won't fire when you're that close. Then what? Have they act as a decoy to cover. Why me? <laughs> Just make a copy of you. Then we'll let them catch the copy and you'll be safe. Safe. You must be lonely out there, MPU. If you let us download you, you'll be with us and we'll be your friends. <laughs> and so, weather satellite. Launched before the gate catastrophe that wrecked the Earth's surface, according to archives recovered from the period, the satellite was programmed to self-activate in the absence of commands from the Earth. But I still don't know why it carved pictures of weird creatures and all. What in the world was that all about, huh? That's easy. It was lonely, so it drew some friends. <laughs> I don't come back. <laughs> That's funny. <fire. laughs> Where are we going down there? What's going on? Just what did you promise the kid, Faye? <laughs> she promised <laughs> Ed, Ooh la la. Ed could become a real member of Bebop. <laughs> Hi, amigos. Welcome, bounty hunters. Bad news. They won't pay no bounty on no computer, no how. Oh, that to you. <laughs> <sighs> Jet, do you know that there are three things that I particularly hate? Kids, animals, and women with attitudes. Oh. So tell me, Jet. Why do we have all three of them neatly gathered in our ship? Ed <laughs> loves Yoko's. Earth. <laughs>